The Gold Gladiators taking on the Colombo Stars in match 12. We are back at the Pallakale International Stadium. Angelo Matthews called right. He's had the experience of last evening. He'll know better what to do. Opted to chase. Changes in the teams as the games thick and fast. Back-to-back -back games, hence you have to risk your players. Three changes for goal. Osh the Fernando, Asad Shafiq and Anwar Ali make the team. Colombo Stars, a couple of changes themselves. Ravi Bopara is back into the team. Mudita Lakshan. Almost got them home, Angelo Matthews. They made a few mistakes. Yes, the conditions change in the night game. Right now, the pitch will play in a certain manner because it's not too wet. Builders struggle to run around. The ball's so wet and hence you've got to do the hard work early to be in a good position. 23 games in uh, the LPL. He's got a very good strike rate now. He's got to be there. And Kasum Rajita will have the new ball in his hands. Here we go. Tanu Kadabre to take first strike. Slashes in the gap at cover. He will get a boundary, covering the movement. Oh, lovely shot. Gets it through. Now that's poor fielding. Kasun Rajita will not be able to cut that off. Neatly played. I that's very going. good. That's very good. He's timed it to perfection. Oh, that's a good-looking shot. The spectator up. That's four. A shot played with authority. He's hammered that quickly onto the back foot. Danuka Dabre. It wasn't that shot, but he was in a good position, in a flash, to be able to hit the ball aerial. Big appeal, big appeal. Umpire is not interested. Darren Ganga for Abhisma Roof, encouraging start. Very encouraging. Haven't lost a wicket, they've been dominant. Run rate of nine, and the review taken. Altrich, please, yeah, roll it. Yes, a clear spike when the ball is next to the bat. Give me the on-field umpire, please. In the air now, he hasn't got all of this. And that is a magnificent catch. He's had to run in a long, long way. Attacking shot, leg side. He's been so good offside. But push on to the back foot, cramp for room. And the brilliance of Charita Aksalanka of the bowling of Prasanna accounts for the first wicket. Dabri gone for 33, 51 for one. Short, has he hit it well enough? Yes, he has. Nabin will have to complete this catch or attempt the catch at the very least. Now the fair bit of space between him and the boundary rope as the shot was played. In the air. But don't worry about it being anywhere close to fielder. Complaining about the heat, and that's why you should be in Norelia at this one. It's almost in Norelia. Going straight down. Oh, what's really good about this is how he delayed the decision to come down the wicket. Didn't allow the bowler to have the opportunity to see him. Right to the pitch. Played it beautifully back over his head. Six runs. Due. Nicely improvised. 
just helping the ball on its way and trickle to the boundary line for yet another boundary oh what a shot what a shot it's gone all the way for six Lahiru Dara just gave himself a little bit of room stayed inside the line of the delivery and then very confidently hit that ball aerial for another six now i'll question that length this is the length kasun raj is the bold with the new ball oh top edge top edge dikwella can you take it oh you beauty niroshan dikwella what a wonderful catch it was going away from him it was never easy he made sure that he got closer to the ball kept his eyes on the ball and dived at the right moment what a take that was he's batted really well lairu dara unfortunate for him but an effective knock from his team's point of view he's gone for 2400 for two that will run away oh nicely hit nicely played by asif shafiq Gold Gladiators doing well. Kusal Mendes will get a boundary. The timing is perfect, short and wide. Lovely shot. This should run away to the boundary. Hit straight back. That's four. There again brilliant gap finding That's more runs Add another four brings up the 50 partnership and Shafiq Surely a no ball but it won't stop the celebration because uh, Kusal Mendes has just chalked up his second half century in this edition of the LPL Overall his six in LPL and what a player he is that movement offside to hit leg side so so good from Kusal Mendes knew he wanted to hit the ball got himself in a position outside the ostump to be able to access that part of the ground third six for Kusal Mendes Fifty runs, Fasad Shafiq. A very, very impressive innings from the right-hander. Seven fours, his strike rate one seventy, and in his first match, he's chalked up his maiden LPL fifty. On debut. This is brilliant, and he continues to impress with his stroke play. What a shot is this? Drake's got the length wrong. That's uh, oh, volley. This stage of the innings, to somebody who's batted as well as he has, cannot afford beautiful swing of the bat straight through the line. Did it carry? Did that carry? What did the Lakshan? Okay, the ball has clearly bounced before going to the hands. Uh, I have a decision for the giant screen. And clearly, and also just a quick point about the fielder. That was in the slot. That was in the slot, but I'm not quite sure he got enough. Again, the length is wrong. It's in the slot. Gone very high on that because he's just leant back as he's made contact with the ball. One stage thought that this didn't have enough legs on it, but then has chanted him out. Not able to get the hands under the ball, and I think it's gone all the way. 
There you go. Confirmation. Another powerful stroke in that long on region, but it falls safely into the hands of Benny Hall. Well, they'll be happy to see the end of this. And yep, 88 partnership and just 48 balls. That's a Trafik's contribution to that. 58 and just 33 balls. Fantastic innings coming into the side. It's 188 for three. Pumped. Back pass the bowler. One bounce into the boundary line. That's all then. An even better delivery to get a man out who's played an innings as good as this. It's full, it's straight. Crashes into the middle stump. He goes for 72. It's now 193 for four. Swings. And doesn't get a run. So a brilliant over from Naveen Ul Haq. Yeah, that's when he shot up his ground. The wicket will be put down. I have addition for the giant screen. There is that decision. He's out. Yep. And it's. An above par total set by the goal. 193 for five after 20 overs. And he comes out into the field. Dinesh Chandimal. Well, he's opening the batting with Niroshan Dikbal late. Right, here comes Imad Basim. Dikbal on strike. Oh. Well, he wants a run off the first ball. He was out of sorts yesterday. Oh, he's been bowled again. Not the right option taken by Dikvala. Now with this action, the ball is going to jack back to the left-hander. Only two. From the bat of Dikvala, it's three for one already. Lovely shot. Lovely shot. Timing. Perfect. Oh. Six. Grabbed it with both hands. <laughs> Presenting middle of the bat and the ball disappeared towards mid wicket. He was posing too many problems. Just look what's happening now. He's doing a good job. Oh, whipped the ball. Three in a row. Bagria has made to suffer. Yeah, she's enjoying it. Oh, ho, ho. third man comes in. That's four more. That's poor bowling. Really poor bowling. Lovely shot. Look at it fly off the bat. This is the problem they'll have. No stopping that. With the gain. Just on the uh, subject of chasing down a score, that's brilliant running. Plays it nicely. Sandakan, good throw. Anmarali doing the basics right behind the stumps, taking the bails off. Okay, the batsman has made his grounds. Before the wicket has been put down, I have a decision for the giant screen. My decision is not out. My decision is not and Clearly, out. well in Charita Salanka. Good use, good use of the feet. He surprised Sandakan by running at him. That's what Sandimal does, putting the pressure on the bowler. Three signals, he found singles previously, and the fourth delivery. He decides he has to go. A clean stroke, a beautiful shot, which went a long way. And he's playing a positive matchup. 50 for Dinesh Chandimal, it's come off 25 balls, a strike rate of 200. Five fours, two sixes, that's his fourth half century in the LPL. Oh, that's cleared, I think, yes it has. He's been severe, hitting good stroke play, and this is yet another one, not sparing. Yeah, the players that develop affinity to certain grounds. 
He hasn't shown any respect. Second time in this over. Gone. Of course, the Colombo Stars would have loved him to carry on, but I think he's done his bit. He set themselves a very good platform. Chandimal will be very well pleased with this knock. Out for 63. It's 95 for two. Oh, that's going to be buys. Well, he'll be disappointed. Kusal Mendes. Oh, big appeal, and that looks very good. It's confirmed. There's a spike when the ball is next to the bat. Uh, give me the old field umpire, Ruchi. Ah. Hit it. Yes. Clear it. Gone the distance. He's going after him, Martha C. Full blooded head. Flat battered head. And a great result. You know what I like about that? It's not premeditated. He's seen a bit of air. He's seen the ball outside the line of the off stump. Oh, it's in the air. Man back. We'll just watch it sail over the boundary. Gave him pace. The previous time he missed out with pace off the ball. This time pace on it. Look at what he does. Great finish. Talking earlier about the experience of Angelo Matthews and how they'll in the air now has he chanced his arm one too many times? Yes, he has, and that's why he's thrown his wicket away. But look at the pace, it's 110. Well, I don't believe in a commentator's curse, but unfortunate that it happened. The stars looking good 121 for three, Asalaka goes to 46. Good cricket all round, but... Action for the giant screen, my decision is out. It's 121 for four. Benny Al, new man in, and straight away clears the boundary. Wow, what a start. Talk about T20 cricket, no sighting. You see it, you strike it. That's exactly how well. What a shot to start with. Where has that gone? It's a boundary. Again, stayed on the back foot. Hits the ball into the gap. Easy full toss down the leg side. And this time with fine leg up. That was a free hit. Oh, that might be out. Feel the settles. Catch taken. Not a twist in the tail. Brilliantly disguised, slower delivery. Through the shot way too early. Nuan Tushara deceptive with his slingy action, low arm. An impact innings from Benny Howell has come to an end. It's 22 to him. Good bouncer, good bouncer, but equal to the task, not a good part of it. Fine leg in a huge risk taken by Vahabriyas. Into the fielder's hands. That's a massive blow for Colombo Stars. His slower balls. Change of length. Simply brilliant. Seven runs of 12 for him. It's 154 for six. Clean strike. But look. Beware of the injured warrior. They are dangerous because they'll just stand and swing. Powerful hit. Couple of balls remaining in the over. Massive, massive from Tushara. Short hand jab. That's an educated edge. Just short of the fielder. Won't leave too many for the last one. That's a good decision by Ravi Bopara. He had to go for the boundary. Well, he's got different plans. Missing the length, and that's the slot again. Previous over, Aprias was a culprit. This occasion, wet ball, you feel for the bowler. And as you get what a brilliant shot. And again, 
Sounded good enough or not? Who holds his nerve? Siku Ke Prasanna has done a good job. 14 for Prasanna, 192 for 7. Catch it is a cry, catch it is a cry. And catch taken. Lakshan Sanda can look at him come. Oh dear. Two from two required. Shot played in the gap. And Colombo Stars, they conquer the Gold Gladiators. And in the end, Stars winning by two wickets. Match number 12 of the Mazda Play LPL, Colombo Stars. Their timing, their planning, all going to perfection and chasing. 193 have been able to get over the line. Angelo Matthews and his men, Ravi Bopar in particular, with a special innings of 31. And you also need to commend Chandimala Nasalanka for their efforts with the bat. Just the five bowlers used, Imad Wasim as usual. Very, very good at the top. Santa Khan was expensive in his last tour, but the three seamers, Tushara, outstanding. But Wahab Riaz, one for 61, a little too expensive. Anwar Ali tried his best. Had 11 to defend, just could not do it for his team. Eight to defend, in fact. So look at uh, what transpired in this match 12. Gold Gladiators sent in to bat. They got to 193 for five. At the halfway stage, you felt that that was a total they should have used to their advantage to secure another two points. But it was not to be. Stars had other plans. Their power play, 53 for one. And then through that middle phase, they were very productive. They got 85 runs. And the icing on the cake. That innings from Bopara, seeing them home to win by two wickets. A further two points for Colombo Stars. They move to four. Gold Gladiators in third position, also with four points. At the top, Candy Falcons and Jaffna Kings. But Dambula Aura still after four matches without points. Remember, the top four will qualify for the playoffs.